Whenever you feel like you're going a little slow, you can handle more speed, straighten them out. Sometimes you want to get really going, you can skate with them like, go like that and push off. Start out with taking a little bit wider stance. I'm gonna zip ahead of you a little bit and watch you. Good. Didn't get on the pressure. Do you want to try this lift again or do you want to try to go up? Yeah, see your, your back ski is dragging behind a little bit. So when we get stopped for a second, I'll show you a trick to kind of get past that a little bit. And so your body is moving aggressively like you did with your snowboard, faster than your feet are, okay? So what you do, one of the tricks with doing it is when you're going into your turn, put your shovel on the ground and lift up your tail a little bit. As you're putting, as you're maintaining balance on this and pushing around, try doing that. So it's kind of, you can even exaggerate a little bit to get used to it. So you go like this. So just put your tail right on the ground, on the, the uphill one on the ground, like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see so your tail of your uphill one's dragging behind a little bit. You're comfortable with speed though, that's a little bit of a good thing. You wanna go up the tram, you said? Okay. I have to say, you are a pretty ethical snowboarder because you didn't plop right in the middle. A lot of snowboarders that just walk right up and plop right in the middle to run and get in the way of people. You stomp it down with your heel or you might have snow on the bottom of your boots. There you go. So this is with the hill is gonna give you a little bit more speed to work some of the stuff you're trying to do. And you're not really trying to hop into turns, but just move downhill into them. You said so. You were saying that I was having snow all over the back. Yeah. Is that what you were saying? When we were down there, when I was turning, you were saying there's snow. Yeah. Well, what'll happen too is just you try to turn when you're coming out of a snow plow. This top one will drag behind like this, and so that's why you pick it up a little bit. So you can try to do this, but if you don't have the balance for it, go into your turn, leave this up, and then just pick it up and bring it down. Okay. And so you kind of do this steps into turns. I can show you a little bit when you get down here. Okay, so the, go into a turn like this and then just go ahead and move that over. Yeah, do the big long turns like that because that will help you learn how to work those, that other ski around. Do a, do a bigger snow plow going into your turn. Do a bigger snow plow in your turn and don't, don't try to parallel through your turns yet. There you go, try to, good. Keep your tips together a little bit like that too. Just don't let your tips cross. Good.
So hold up for just a second. One of the things I want you to do too is as you're, as you're turning, you're turning your whole body and your head with it and kind of looking right here. Try to look out there a little bit more where you're going. Because when you're getting, when you get going, you don't want to build that bad habit there. Look out a little bit further out while you're heading towards. Okay, we're going to come around this turn right here. You feel that other foot dragging behind? You kind of need to go flat here because it's pretty flat. Good skating. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing good? There's some importance in falling because learning how to fall right to help prevent injury. The stem Christie thing, focus on doing that down here. Take as much of the hill as you need to take. And do the parallel in between if you want and then snow plow on the turns. Good. Just there you go. just drop into it. Now one thing right now you're trying to drop into a, a turn a little fast, go ahead and use a bigger turn and just you know point your skis downhill with the, with the snow plow and then pull, push out of it. Don't worry about the speed. There you go. So I'm gonna turn around and show you. So you're like this, go ahead and just do a gradual, point your downhill and turn, transfer the weight to the other one like that. Just a gradual transfer of weight. You're trying to turn that other one up too fast. You're pulling it up, which is good, but on this type of hill, your skill's not quite there yet. So just go into it, weight on this side, downhill side, even, transfer to the bottom and just push through it. Don't try to move your other ski yet. Good, 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 good. Yep, just let it work. There you go. Yeah, good. You're not worried about going too fast. You just work the turn. That's a good fall, a really controlled fall. So that's good. Get into the snow plow. Transfer your weight, good, good. Snow plow, transfer, good. Good, just work the turn downhill. Don't try to turn too fast and lean into it too much. Slide into it, awesome. Whoops. That time, I don't know if you were intentionally doing this, but it almost looked like you were going into a parallel a little too soon. You hadn't quite finished the turn. Good, perfect turn.
Yep, just keep working those turns and you'll get around there. This stage that you're doing here is really good for for growing in this because it teaches you you're focusing on a lot of fine-tuned skills for the turns. Okay, I want to stop you for a second. As I'm watching you, it look your center of gravity, your body is like pulling back a little bit, which is a natural response most people have. So it's time to start focusing on centering over your boots. Just maintaining your your balance right over your boots, okay? Good turn. Snow plow. Your tips crossed. Yeah. So when you're doing a really strong snow plow, you're gonna feel like you're doing the split. Like you're cranking it, you're gonna feel your hips, you're cranking it like way like this, and the skis way up like. Don't hold them like out here like this. Pull your knees in a little bit to really push that edge in. And then after you're doing that, then use your weight to make the turn, the weight transfer. Good. Your ski stayed parallel on that one. Your ski stayed parallel the whole way through that. Drop in this, there you go. Good. You do on that side, you do about, when you're turning left, you do about twice the snow plow you do on your right. That may be, you might be, that's probably why you're falling more on that side. There you go, and just let it, don't worry about this other ski dragging behind. You're just gonna work the snow plow down through the hill and the other ski will just come for now. Good. Transfer your weight, good. Good, yep, yep. Good, super. Yeah, you, you stayed in a, your skis were wide apart like you were doing snow plow, but they weren't like this at all. <laughs> but you're doing a really controlled fall, so that's good. Ah. Okay, so that one, again, they're really wide. What I want you to do there, when your skis are really wide, just ski your top ski, slow down your bottom ski, but ski your top ski down into us, like, like here, like this, really wide, like this. Just go ahead and push into that and let the other one fall in. Because <clears throat> you can't, you're not gonna be able to pull that bottom ski up at all. It's just too far. Good. <clears throat> good fall. That's good controlled. Your falls are getting more controlled, so. I think you might be pulling around your uphill ski too soon. You're switching into parallel too fast. Now, if you're finding your snow plowing, like your snow plow so hard because the slope, the slow plow is so hard that you're stopping, go ahead and just point downhill in your snow plow just a little bit more to get your movement going. Because otherwise you're not gonna be able to twist those skis. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, you're trying to you're trying to do a it almost looks like you're trying to do a skate stop like you're trying to advance too fast do bigger turns point him downhill there you go bigger bigger turn bigger turn there you go there you go good Good. Getting your snowplow. That's good. Are you feeling less strain on your knees when you're going into a fall? Okay, good. But the way you're learning how to fall and control that as much as you can with these, that's gonna save some injuries. Okay, I just noticed something. Stop for a second. When you're turning up, your right hand, the, the uphill hand is going behind your waist. If you need to, keep your hands out in front like this as you're doing that turns, because you got to get in the, that's going to help your center of gravity. Don't let your hands get past, get, get back here. Your hands get back here, your gravity's back there. So keep them up. Okay. You, like when I'm teaching the, the younger kids, I've got them no poles and their hands are just out here the whole time. And so you can do it with poles if you want, but just keep them out here because you're, you're pulling them back like this and it's throwing your center of gravity back and you're getting off balance with them. So just keep those hands forward in front of your waist as much as you can. Good. You're perfect on the tips and Good, you're much better on your gravity now. I don't know if it feels like it, but it looks like it. Let's see, check out the valley here. We're not actually going here, but it's even cooler from the top up there. This is a really good spot for learning how to get, learning how to do these soft turns like this. Take one hand out and hold them out like this. So you might be ready because you're starting to do in more STEM Christie and do a little bit just learning how, like I noticed you picked up on a lot of times the stem Christie, it's not like this, it's hard to get it off that. And I've noticed that sometimes you're, you go ahead and twist your legs so that you're not catching that edge. You're doing that automatically. I don't know if you picked up on that, that you're doing that, but instead of having this edge here, a lot of times you just go ahead and lift that up so it slides in. So if you want to, the next stage is when you're doing that, it's just working on balance of lifting that up like we were talking about before, where you're going here. And when it catches, you put your weight and your balance into that front shovel and just lift this up a little bit and that'll keep it out of catching it. And then you'll advance from there into hopping into it. So kind of just lift that up just a little bit as you go into that turn. See, right, you're doing what most people do when they're first starting to learn that. Let me show you. When most people start to learn that, instead of doing the tip, it's a little tricky because they'll have a tendency to want to do this. Does that make sense? 
like that's actually what you did just that time is you're because you're leaning back a little bit more you try to lift it you end up dragging the heel instead of being forward and dragging the toe so just to sign lean forward a bit more with your arms to get you up into that toe more because to do these kick turns when you get more advanced that's what you're doing is you're lifting up that ski There you go. Try something on your way down. As you're going back and forth like this, yeah, just transfer your weight on your feet. Just left foot, right foot, and pivot it. Good. Just casually pivot, right, right foot, left foot, shifting your weight. It's good. You ready? Or yeah, break. Selfie. Doing good, man. You're doing good. That was a really good time for a fall down skill, huh? That was a really good time to know how to fall down. Because <laughs> you would have been over that if you didn't. All the way down. 